Shut down six towers? Alright. Okay, what does climbing this do? Why did I climb this? I, I just touched the thing and then, then what? What are we doing? And then the windmill stops. Alright, alright, I'm following, I'm following. Here's one new device. So good, hopefully their power will be enough to let us escape. Is this like the past stuff or is this like some alternate reality or dimension type of shit we're going with on this game? Or do they just feel like going into the, uh, you know, editing software real quick on that cutscene and uh, applying the sepia effects instead? And they're like, oh shit, no, we just thought it would look cool, but no, it is the present. I mean, you can't rule that possibility out. Alright, that's two? Oh, they also put that old-timey movie effect over, I'm noticing. Like the slightly fuzzy screen and the lines every now and then. Oh! Yeah, that'll cause some damage. Yeah, just a bit. I'm still confused as to the plot. I'm assuming this is like the huge moment, right? This like world is where we're getting a lot of the plot stuff for this game. Because so far there hasn't really been much. I've just been chilling. Oh. Sonic ain't feeling so good, Mr. Stark. Fuck your rock. Those ones are chill though. Alright, number three. Ah, shit. Fuck. I just went to go watch the cutscene and reach for my drink and poured it in my mouth at the exact same time and somehow fucked it up and now I spilled soda all over myself. What the fuck? Fucking dumbass. Yo, hold up. Is this just a recreation of the first world? This looks like where I throw down with uh, Giganto. Where, where the uh, tunes were playing and it was sick and I was like, yo, what the fuck? What the hell is that? What? Uh, am I stuck? Hey, yo! <laughs> what is going on? I'm pressing all my buttons. Oh, hold up. I think I mean... Did, okay, sure. The fucking water balloon enemy? Our history was not thanks to cyberspace. <laughs> no, not cyberspace. They uploaded themselves to the internet. No! <laughs> all our hopes and our dreams and memories can be uploaded to cyberspace and accessed at any time. Elder, you are needed. It's time for your medicine. Quit talking nonsense, you crazy bat. Okay, so I think I'm correct. This is the area where I throw down with Giganto. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the thing that was on his head, right? So are, are, were they using the emeralds in that machine to control it then? Alright, last one. This isn't working. If we can't beat it, we'll seal it. Oh! I'll bind it to my titan, then you guys seal us in cyberspace. Is the story of this just that these alien things just like doing mech fighting and the emeralds were the power source and then something along the lines of their mechs couldn't beat the big mech? Okay, so did- We can't let their sacrifice be in vain. They had a plan, let's do it. So these guys were mech fighting a giant mech and then they were getting their asses beat and they wanted to avenge him. But the, the giant mech who absorbed the other guy's life went to Earth or Sonic's world or something. And then so they're like, let's follow him? Or, wait, no, they're just leaving him there. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Hey, Sonic, what's up? He seems fine. Nah, he'll get, he'll get over it. He'll walk it off. Oh, shit, he's dead. No, it's fine, because the three of them will be there, and they'll do, like, a speech or something, maybe, and they'll talk about, like, friendship and stuff, and then everything will be good. Wait, what? How did Eggman get out of here? Why? What's up? I just got out. That was the whole point. Yeah. I ran millions of simulations. The only way I can keep you alive is if you're not here when it gets out. What? The giant mech? When what gets out? The giant mech. Have you not seen the flashbacks? We just had a cutscene on it. Sonic worked too hard. For There's this. He's, a, he's doing the speech thing. He's doing the speech. Look at that. It's the th it's the thing I said he would do. Are the other two gonna join in? Oh, she joined in. That's the, that's two. That's two. Whatever that's three. That's three. That makes all three. That's a wrap. Sonic's back. Let's go. That's the speech. Oh, they're holding hands. It's the power of friendship. Holy shit. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? I don't know what... How does this work, by the way? How'd they know to do that? Why'd they do that? Why does this work? Never mind. Plot armor. Let's go. He's back. Man, there was like no build up to that at all or anything. Anyways, let's go fight a giant robot with some cool tunes. Collect keys for- FUCK YOU! I thought I was done with the fucking collectibles. Holy shit. Can't wait to fight that robot boss in another fucking hour. I know I've said this already a lot, but... 
my god, this is like easily the least, my least favorite part of the game is just how often I have to just run around searching for shit instead of being able to actually play the game. Got them all, let's go. Emerald one obtained. Now to collect more keys, of course, because like, you know, my favorite part about playing the game is like collecting a bunch of shit, not actually playing the game. Anyway, it's time to find the area where I can get more keys, then I gotta find a gear in order to unlock that area, then I gotta complete all the things in a specific way to get a bunch of more keys, and then I have to pray that it's enough in order to unlock the next emerald, which I then need to find. If you couldn't tell, I hate doing this. It was fine for like the first world, maybe, but after that, you know, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, hey, look, I found this one quick at least. Now to find another enemy to beat up and then remember this location and then do all the other steps I said. And then I repeat that like six more times. Hey, Biggs, I need a break from the game I'm having a fun like playing time. I'll yes, Blue Ringed Octopus. A Marlin. Like the guy from Finding Nemo, but if it wasn't actually a clownfish. A tire. Cause why not? Lo-fi fishing beats to relax to. A red giant isopod. Tuna. Canonically bigger than Sonic. Hammerhead shark. Oh my god. I can... Not only can I, I, you know, fish for more power, but after I'm done buying out the max amount of power he'll allow... Oh wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. The others usually cap it off a long ass time ago. What's going on here? Hold up, what's happening? I was gonna say, uh, after buying all the power it allows me to, then I could just kind of buy out my uh, way through the rest of the world in terms of the gears, tokens, and vault keys. Hey, so quick question, my guy. How much can over 2,000 cocos get me? You know, at times like this, I really wish this guy could do more at once, as opposed to, oh, I have 2,000 cocos? Okay, it takes like, it'll take you 10 for the next level, okay. Here's the next level. Oh, for the next level, it'll take you 12. I, I really wish he could just give it to me all at once instead of having to do this. And that's 10 levels, 20 levels, 30 levels, max speed. Okay, really? Really? This is, okay, now this is just annoying, no annoying. Like before, when like we have the choice between the two, it's like, all right, I understand. Like, what if you don't want to put everything in speed? I don't know why you wouldn't, though. I mean, it's just optimal. But like, when I literally only have one option, you're like, what'll it be? Like, you talk to the other dude, you hand him both your, your blue seeds and your red seeds, and he's like, all right, let's go from level like 14 to 18 because you have enough. All in one go. You don't gotta mash that. Wow, okay, so it turns out I might have bought a lot more of these than I needed. Uh, I thought it would cap me out like it did for the other fishing spots, but it might have let me go over the, uh, the max. I will say, that was the first time ever when recording a video where I would physically just open up YouTube and put on a different video. Because pressing A through all that and scrolling through that text took a legit 15 minutes. To put that in perspective, I was fishing for less than two. I spent way less time fishing than I did just getting the rewards for that. Oh, that, yeah, no, that's a that's a bit that's that's a bit faster. But that's the second emerald completed. Needed 27 more. 27 more. Yellow spring. Golden cola cant. Rainbow colored frog. Nope. I figured out everything else up until now, haven't I? Don't sweat it. Oh, hey, I can activate it. I figured it out. It coincidentally allows me to use it when I need it to. Oh, we're doing this again? I did it. Gonna go collect more vault keys for portals. All right, will do. Just give me like three minutes and I'll have all the keys you need. Puffer fish. A fucking alligator, because why not? <laughs> I just caught three fish and then immediately hit with two Chaos Emeralds unlocking back to back. Let's go. I don't know why I never realized how broken fishing actually is. Like, I knew fishing was good and all, right? Like, it helped me get, like, the one Cocos, but I usually I only found the fishing spots after completing the world. I never found one during it to fully realize, wait a minute, I can just buy everything. And that's the third Emerald. Emerald 4 obtained. Collect Valky- are you- are you serious? Really? 
I have 25 of them. For perfecting an entire stage after finding it, you get eight. That That's more than perfecting three whole ass stages. What the fuck? A loach. A treasure chest. A vault can now be unsealed. A vault can now be unsealed. Truly the homie. I could have been spending like up to 45 minutes probably going and gathering all the things to do those things and then get the keys for those things. Or I could just fish for like three minutes. So um, I seem to have gotten a little bit carried away fishing. But it is very crazy how I can gain so much more chilling with bigs for like 10 minutes than I've gotten just from exploring all of the islands in the world for like, you know, hours. And you know, speaking of chilling with bigs for like 10 minutes or less, we just got max on everything. And that's number five. Alright, well, I've just bought a bunch of the heart things, so now it's time to speed run the rest of this island. I'm sorry, what? 30 more needed? That was a huge jump. Oh, you know what I just realized? Sonic no longer has his, like, slunt over stance. They really did, like, nothing with that. Huh. Like, it didn't really come into play whatsoever. It wasn't a power-up, you know? It didn't really have any effect on him or consequences. You know, as soon as it got bad, they were just like, Hey, friendship hug, and then he got over it. A gravestone. Oh, what the fuck? How do I avoid that shit? How do I avoid this? Oh, wait, if I am the color, I can just go through it. Wait a minute. I think I've just solved the game. I forgot I could do that. And that's all six. I know. You're not fast enough, so I found it for you. <laughs> You're too slow to collect the seven. Don't you dare lose it. See? Like I say, I, I don't know if it made it in the video that one time. I forget how I edited these sometimes, but there was a point when I said they just got a bromance going on. There's no real hate between them. It's like a pastime for them, like a hobby is fighting each other. But when, when shit's needed, he's like, hey, don't, don't you lose. Because you're going to lose to me next week. I'm thinking chess? Or do you want to, you know, you want to play a game? We got Street Fighter, we can load that shit up. Why does his head look like Monsoon? He's got... <laughs> oh, this is just a meme. <laughs> what the fuck is this? His head looks like Monsoon, he's got a fucking gun, and he's named Supreme. What the hell? Wait, hold up. I'm confused. Where's my tunes? Oh, there we go, it's starting. Okay. What's going on here, by the way? Like, usually I just kind of silently fight these and, like, focus a slight bit, right? But, th there's been no, no vocals or anything. This is, like, kind of lame compared to the others so far. And he was very, he just really died. I don't know if that's, like, because I have max, you know, attack or what. Oh, shit, he's pulling out the gun. But I can press L and R, unless if it gives a quick time, it gives a quick time event instead. So I can press that. Oh, we, we're scrapping. Is that it? Please don't finish it like that. That was so lame in comparison to like the other bosses you've set up. Each world so far, except for like the tower world, that doesn't count. Have a boss where it's like, oh this boss fight is gonna be sick. And on top of that, the tunes are gonna be even sicker. We, we're gonna get like the best of the best. It's gonna be it's gonna be fire, bro. And then we we hit him with the final boss. It's like, oh it's it? time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Sonic. Is that it? And then it's like that. Is that it? Really? 
The fight was kind of underwhelming, nothing cool happened, and the music wasn't even great. Oh, okay, good, it's gonna regain its true form. No, no, let it, please. No, like, but you don't have to sacrifice yourself. I want to fight it at full power, please. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, the, the, the soundtrack they had playing during it was fine. It's just compared to, like, the other ones. It's so lame. He, what, did he turn himself into the fucking moon? The end? <laughs> the true enemy. Work with the titans to defeat the end. Move, let you- Holy- Are you- Are you fucking- <laughs> <laughs> it all comes down to fucking space invader. Holy shit, that's kind of lame. I'm not gonna lie, that's so underwhelming. Is this why they've been setting up space invader the entire time? Those little mini games to prepare you for the lamest final boss this game could throw at you? The old, like, honestly, even if they give me a sick soundtrack, sick tunes and all that with it, it would still feel so lame just because of the fact that I, like, the fight itself is lame. I'm playing Space Invader. Like, unless you give me a real fight, there's really nothing you can do to salvage this. I'm fighting the literal fucking moon in Space Invader. And there's, the, the lyrics aren't popping off, the soundtrack's not going wild and wacky. I mean, it wouldn't be nearly as bad if they didn't set up my expectations like they have been, considering every single fight so far. Oh, okay, you know, that's fair, bro. I see, I see. Oh, well, I died. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, this is, this is kind of an unforgiving fight. Like, they- every now and then they'll throw such a, like, a bullshit move at you, and most of the time, lasers get in the way so you can't even hit the man. And if you get hit thrice by anything, whether it be the bullet hell in front of you between colors, the lasers designed to hit you in the most bullshit way, you lose. Restart this long-ass fight. I think most of it's also just come down to- I'm, I'm just kind of mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little upset at how lame this is. Like, come on. Like, I was expecting this to be the most hype out of all of the bosses, considering just the regular world bosses were like, oh, shit. And next I'm expecting to play fucking Pac-Man after this with him. That one's a bullshit move. What the fuck? Oh, come on! Hey, yo, what the fuck? It ain't even taking damage now. Hey, yo! Oh, this is some bullshit right here. What the fuck? This ain't the game I signed up to play! Please don't tell me I have to do it all again, really? Are you It didn't even take damage! Yo, it's future me, and I'm here to simplify past me's rant about this game's final boss while it's playing, because, let's be real, you don't really want to watch that shit. First of all, I can admit when I'm wrong, as I looked it up after and found out that Supreme did have a theme. Uh, this made me think I had just killed him too fast because of my attack stat, uh, but I looked everywhere else and found out that no one was hearing the full theme either. I then looked at the length of vocals between Supreme and the other bosses, and each boss has around like 4 minutes of vocals, where Supreme has like a minute and a half. And even the speedrun for this game, which you should check out by the way, this is actually pretty sick, didn't even get to the vocals despite getting them for all the bosses and fighting Supreme with level 1 strength. Now, I don't think I need to say much about the final boss that took away all core gameplay mechanics and instead replaced them with a slot to insert two quarters to continue. But I will save my thoughts on how easily this game's ending could have been saved. First and foremost, either replace Supreme's theme with one like the other bosses, or keep it the same for like a Hollow Knight Radiance type of thing. Where you think you're fighting the final boss and it doesn't seem too special, but then the actual final boss comes out and it like goes crazy. And if you want to use Supreme's theme for more like sentimental, dramatical, or like emotional type of final fight, then one, increase the vocal length as well as two, actually using it on the final fight instead of you glitter who fly about me like a gnat. And the biggest thing to change, which would have been so easy to do, would be to change this final boss. They already set up something with Sonic getting more and more like corrupted or whatever throughout the game, so like, use it. Have the final boss either be a Sonic vs. Metal Sonic type of thing where you get the corruption out of Sonic, but it has his powers and you need to throw down with it. 
Or like have it corrupt Sonic and you either need to play as Tails, Amy, Knuckles, and Eggman switching between them to take them down. Or like do that using the bosses of each world. I mean, like it really isn't this hard to do something with everything you've set up so far instead of scrapping all of it for fucking Space Invaders. And yes, this was the simplified version, because past me was pissed. <laughs> well, uh, back to the end of the fight. Father, <laughs> oh, he's in the invincible fuck you phase. I don't even know, like, what do, what, do, what do I even do here? Uh, yeah, almost got hit by that if I didn't move. Um, what, what do I move? Okay, 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 right here. Oh, no, we on the move, we on the move. Okay, we moving, we moving. That's, okay, I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh, one more, one more try, one more try. Oh, we're getting to this spiral fate. Oh, fuck. Can I hurt you, please? Please. Tell me that's it. The end comes for you all. Yeah, I know your name. Please. Let me hurt you. What do I do? Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm actually kind of mad about that, because that means, like, I almost won the last time. Wait, the robot's helping us? Why? Isn't it the one we just beat up? The tombless guy? Alright. Now or never. Oh, okay. I mean, I get they were going for more of like a cinematic finish. Never mind. There's no justifying fucking uh, space invaders being the final boss, especially in this game. Oh no. Sage realized she can't be in the next games because this is the game about her and the next one won't be. So she needs to disappear forever. Yes. Oh damn, he's actually kind of just sad about this. Just the slow look of him just staring off, sadly. Because he never wanted to admit that he was growing attached to her, but ended up growing attached to her. Oh, so you can put vocals on the fucking credit song, but not the final boss. Yeah, you know, I see, I see, I see. If anyone's wondering why I seem so upset and disappointed about this uh, final boss and all that right now, probably more than I should, just keep in mind the last three hours of my life I've just spent uh, climbing towers fishing, going from place to place to get collectibles and shit, and then playing fucking Space Invader. With, when, you know, the two and a half hours in, I'm like, alright, time for this sick boss like the others, because that was pretty much the main selling point for me. Oh, well, after scene. But I guess it's time we got moving. I know you all have big plans. You're gonna hardly recognize me when we see each other again. Oh, okay. Wasting daylight. Go. Are they implying that the next Sonic game there's gonna be a huge time jump between this one and the next one and everyone's gonna seem a lot different? Mostly Tails because like his entire thing was stepping out of uh, Sonic's shadow and doing things on his own. Are you kidding me right now? You can put two vocal songs in two different credits, but not the final boss? Well, that's been Sonic Frontiers. Thanks for watching.